Well, you can create interactive maps directly within the Story Maps applications. It's much easier, in my opinion, to create a map in ArcGIS Online and then just add that into your Story Map when you're ready. In this video, I'll show you how to upload the two primary spatial data formats to an Arc Online map as a .csv file and as a zipped shapefile. So navigate to ArcGIS Online at this URL and then select Sign In if you haven't already. And click on Content up here at the top. And then Create a new map. Enter a descriptive title. This is just an example. And then enter some tags. You're required to enter tags uh, by ArcGIS Online. So something that describes the nature of your data um, is, is perfectly sufficient. And then pay attention to which folder you're going to save it in, whether it's your project folder or just your general uh, a folder. Click OK. So that'll create a new map. Click on Add Data up here, and then Add Layer from File. And then here it says you can add a shape file as a zip, a CSV, a GPX, which is the GPS file format, and a GeoJSON. But these are not um, quite as common, so I'm just going to go over the shape file and the CSV. So click on Choose File, and then select that CSV. Mine is the CSV that I downloaded from um, the Data Hub. Click on Open and Import Layer. That'll load in there. You can easily change the base map to one of the many options by clicking up here. Let's go with imagery. And then you can change the symbology of your data by clicking over here in those. Change a symbol. Do this just to um, symbolize according to what you want to convey. And you can adjust the scale at which you can see the data over here, all the way from the world scale to the room scale. Click OK. You can also add um, labels. So if you click on the three dots over here, move down, create labels. There you have that was uh, that labeled watershed name. You can also label site ID, site name, any of the fields in your attribute table. You can also change the color. Now, if this were for a real story map, I would spend much more time on the symbology and the labeling, but as this is just an example, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, once you've added the data, it's important to save and share the map so that viewers looking at your story map will be able to actually see the map sections. So come up here to save, and then share, and make sure that everyone is checked. Otherwise, members of the public viewing your story map won't be able to see your map sections. And select Done. So there you have uploading data as a CSV file. Moving on to uploading a shape file as a zipped file. So here I have all of my individual files that make up one shape file. I'm going to select all of those and then right click and send to a compressed or zipped folder. There you have that. Now that that's done, I'm going to create a new map. Let that load. And then go to Add Data again, and Add Layer from File. Choose File, and then select that zip here. And open that up. Now you have these options, Generalized Features for Web Display or Keep Original Features. Uh, generalized Features for Web Display just makes it look a little bit better um, in the ARC Online environment. So that's what I usually select. So you can again change the base map and symbolize according to what you want to show. This is an inverse watershed layer, so I'll just make this a gray, a little bit of transparency and then zoom in, and you notice it disappears at a certain scale. That can be attributed to the visible range over here. It's only visible from about a world range 
to about a regional range. So I'm going to drag this all the way over here to the room. Say OK, and now it shows up. So you can set the extent by just zooming in or out as far as you'd like and arranging that. Again, remember to save. This time, since we selected new map up here, it's going to ask me for a title at this step in the process. So again, enter a descriptive name, a couple of tags. Um, pay attention to the folder that you're saving it in, and then save that. So now I'm going to select share, check everyone wait for this button to become darker blue select that and there you have it now you're ready to create your own story map